Welcome back, Odoos. The key to a successful e-learning course is keeping participants engaged. How? Well, with quality content and interactive questions that make learning both effective and enjoyable. So let's take a look at how we can create great e-learning content with Odoo. All right, so here we are on the backend of our e-learning application. So let's go ahead and select Banjo for Beginners with Bowie Banjo. Now, in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the content tab, which is by far the most important one when it comes to e-learning courses, because this is where you can create, customize, and rearrange your course's content. Now, as you can see, I've already started adding some content to this course. I've got sections, which are the bold titles, uh, and I've got some lessons, which are these ones over here. Now, thanks to this uh, category column, we can see exactly what type of content is being used at a glance. We can also see if it has a certification, the duration of the lesson, the number of views, and whether it's published on your website or not. We can also remove a lesson quickly just by clicking on the bin icon over here. Okay, let's go ahead and add a new lesson to this course. What we're going to do is scroll down and click on Add Content. So here, the first thing we're going to do is uh, decide on a title for this lesson. So we're going to call it Understanding Basic Banjo Terminology. There you go. Here I can add some tags, which is always useful. So I'm going to add the theory tag so my students know it's about theory. And over here in the content ty type, I can select various options. So this is to choose which type of content I'm going to upload to this course. I have an image, an article, a document, a PDF, for example, a video, a quiz, and a certification. Now I'm going to upload a Banjo schematic, and that is an image. So I'm going to choose image because it is a JPEG that I'm going to upload. Now once I choose image, I have two options below. I can upload it directly from my computer, or I can retrieve it from Google Drive. If I do this, all I have to do is copy paste the link uh, to the location on my drive. Before I select image, I'm actually, I actually want to show you what happens when I select video. When I do this, you don't have to upload it uh, from your device. All you have to do is copy paste the link from uh, YouTube. And then if I click outside, we see that the image updates automatically, as well as the duration of the course. And on top of that, if you go into the description tab, where you can add the description of the course, uh, you see that it also takes the description from the YouTube video. Of course, I can always remove it or modify anything I want after that. Now, let's take a look if I would choose document as content type. So when I do this, I can again uh, choose to retrieve it from Google Drive or I can upload it. But the interesting thing with the document is that you can allow your students to download it when they're offline, which can be very useful uh, to them so that they can just watch your course whenever they want to. Okay, now the now that I've shown you those two types, I want to upload my actual image. So I choose image, I will upload my file, which is the Banjo schematic. And once I do this, it uh, updates automatically. Um, I'd like to show you as well these two fields over here, which are zero right now because our course is new, of course. But when it's already existent, you can see how many people have viewed your course over here. And the total views is when uh, it takes into account logged in users and users who are not logged in. We see that the responsible here is Mitchell Admin because that's me and I've just uploaded the, the picture, but I can just change the responsible over here. And in our case, surprise, surprise, we're going to take Bobby Bancho. And then the duration, I don't think it's going to take four minutes. I think it's going to take only three minutes. So let's change that. There you go. And adding a duration is actually really nice because our students will know exactly how much time they should spend on each section. And not only that, but they will also be able to see the total duration for the entire course, which is really useful. Okay, um, so now let's go ahead and go to the description tab. So like before, this is fairly self-explanatory. I'm just going to add schematic uh, um, of a banjo. And then we'll hop over to the additional resources. So here, if I add a line, you can choose to add a file or link. And this, this is something that in addition to the course, it would be useful for your students to, to watch or to study. Uh, it's not required, but it's always nice to provide your students or employees 
with some useful information about the topic that they're learning about. But in our case, we're not going to add anything. And then lastly, we have the quiz tab. So the first thing we noticed is that here we have uh, a series of points. These are the points that people will get when they answer your quiz uh, correctly. So they get 10 points if they answer it correctly on the first try, 7 points on the second try, and so on. I can, of course, move, uh, change these numbers, sorry, if I want them only to have 8 points, for example, on the first try. But let's leave it as 10. So now that we know how the points work, we just have to create the quiz. So for this, we'll go over here and add a line. Here we can uh, put our first question. Uh, we're going to do a fairly straightforward one. How many strings does a standard banjo catch? And then over here we can add our multiple answers. So I'll just add a line and the first answer is going to be four. Then I can just hit enter to go to the next question or I could just have clicked add a line and we're going to put five. Next one is going to be six and next one is going to be seven. Easy. So now I have my four options. And now I have to choose which one is going to be the correct answer. In our case, it's five. So I just tick the box is the correct answer. Now, if you have a question with multiple correct answers, that's not a problem. You can just select another answer and then the system will update automatically and both these answers will be correct. In our case, it's only five that is correct. And then we can choose if we save and close this question or if we just save and go ahead and create a new question because a quiz can have various questions or we can just discard it altogether if we're not happy with what we've created. So in our case, I'm just going to save and close. And now that I've created uh, the course, I'm all, the lesson, I'm also going to save and close this one. And now we see that just like that, the lesson appears over here. Now, I'm not happy about the place it is in because it's right now under the test your knowledge section. And I actually want it to be in the first section. So I'm just going to take it and drag and drop it over here and drop it here into the first section. Okay, so this is the back end, but we now want to publish this course because it's not published yet. So to do that, we're going to go to the front end. To do that, we're going to go in more and then go to website. And here we see our amazing Banjo for Beginners with Bobby Banjo course uh, as our students would see it. We see the duration of each section. Over here, we also see the duration of uh, the whole course. Um, and we can uh, see also the content type with the little, little icons over here. Another thing we see is the big unpublished button, which means that this course is unpublished. But no worries, all I have to do is click on it. And then over here we have the toggle button to publish it. And just like that, the course is now accessible to all your students. So here we have our schematics. And if I go to the quiz, then we see that we have our question and the multiple answers. If I click on four, Oh, we see that it's not correct. If I click on five, yay, we have the correct answer. And we uh, gain seven points, not 10, if you remember, because 10 is if you uh, answer correctly uh, on the first try, seven is on the second try. And we see that everything works perfectly. And that is how you easily create, publish, and build an e-learning course with Odoo in just a few minutes. That's it for this video. But for more information, be sure to check out our online documentation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.